Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola G23 and today I will show you how you can apply tempered glass to this phone. Now before you kind of get turned on by this, uh, by saying that this uh, tempered glass is for a different device, I'll quickly just dry fit it just so you can see that this basically is the same screen size, so it makes no difference whatsoever. So there we go. So as you can see, it fits perfectly over here. And yeah, that's what I will be using. Now chances are if you bought yours specifically for this device, unlike me, uh, the reason I'm using a tempered glass for a different device is because I literally have boxes of them, uh, specifically this one and like other one for different, for like two different devices. So yeah, uh, and these are most certainly like the most common uh, screen sizes, so that's why it fits over like majority of the devices. But anyway, um, chances are if you bought it for your device, meaning this one, you'll have a hole punched camera in here. Uh, so it will be like a cutout, which uh, I will just kind of point that out because the way you will be applying your tempered glass might just uh, focus uh, around that cutout to align the tempered glass correctly with the display. Uh, I'll just mention this right now. So. Uh, you can either apply tempered glass with the case or without it. The benefit applying it with it is that if you apply it incorrectly, so it's a little bit too much to the side, uh, the actual like bezels of the screen protector will prevent the tempered glass from settling into place. Uh, but downside is uh, it's not as easy to align it evenly from both edges, so you might be like too close to one side than the other. Uh, I will be applying it without the without the case, just because that's the way I prefer it. But like I said, it might be for some people a little bit easier to do it with the case, because if you make a mistake, you can easily lift up the tempered glass and try to realign it into place so it actually settles uh, into place and won't be later on, for instance, uh, pushed up by the case itself, which could happen if you put it a little bit too much to the side without the case. So for instance, I would do something like this. So you can see it's uh, it will be a little bit too close to the edge right here. If I put on the case, that will be lifted up. Obviously, that's not something that you want. So there we go. Now, um, to quickly go into how I apply my tempered glass before I start doing anything extra, the way I do it is once I peel off the number one, uh, you might have number one and two. Uh, you'll always start with number one. This will reveal a sticky side on the tempered glass, which then once you peel that off, flip it and put it on. So the way I put it is at an angle. So I do hold the glass kind of like this. And this will allow me to just shift it right here. Uh, and like I mentioned before, if you have a cutout for your camera, start off with aligning the cutout with the camera itself uh, and then just trying to shift it from left and right. I hold it, I hold the glass by the bezels from uh, top and bottom sides. And this allows me to also then feel the bezels of the phone, which allows me to kind of shift it left and right a little bit, making it be positioned just the way I want it. So by pinching both of the, uh, the glass and the phone, it gives me this evenly spaced out glass from both sides. And from there, I'll just pull it or push it depending on where it needs to be. And doing the same thing with uh, at the bottom, I'll feel the bezels of the display as well. And from there, I can just shift it just a little bit enough to position it correctly. Once it's in place correctly, I'll just literally drop it. And that's all you need to do. So now that that's out of the way, the uh, method of application, obviously this is my method. Uh, you might have your own, but at that point, I'm not sure why you're watching this. So yeah, so uh, it works for me really well. And that's kind of why I'm showcasing this. Anyway, uh, in the package, Apart from the tempered glass, you'll also have wet and dry wipes. And now if you have ones that look exactly like these ones, uh, throw them to the garbage. Just, just don't use them. They're absolutely terrible. Uh, the, if they're moist, uh, the wet wipes, the solution that they use creates smudges, which I personally uh, have like OCD towards this, so I don't want to see any smudges. Uh, that's problem number one. Number two is that the wet wipes most of the time are dry. This one is dry. Yep, that, that one is dry as dry as, a, as it can get. So just to showcase this, see, no moisture whatsoever. 
So useless uh, if you want to actually clean it with some kind of, I don't know, alcohol solution. Uh, and oh, right. And next thing is the size of these uh, is just pitiful. So that's why I don't recommend using them. I'll be using a microfiber cloth, uh, but honestly, if we, if you have these, you can even use a t-shirt and it will do a better job than this. As long as you don't have any kind of dirt on your display and any kind of dust that might settle, you're good to go. Now, because I did mention uh, dust, um, you might be thinking I'll use a paper towel uh, and th that I would discourage you from doing. Paper towel will be leaving these kind of like white fibers on the display and that's not something that, that you want to have on your display. So use something else than a paper towel. Now, let's clean off the display right here. Start off by focusing on any kind of like smudges and dirt that is on the display. And once you have that prepared, uh, then right before you apply the tempered glass, you just want to make sure that there is no dust on the display. So I'm just gonna give it a couple passes just to get rid of any kind of dust. That's good enough. So once it's clean, you want to go straight into applying it. Don't waste any time. Peel that off and go straight to it. And there we go. And it's already gluing itself. Now, actually, I might be a little bit too close to the bottom edge. If that will be the case, I'll fix it up. But I think it might be just fine. So you can see it's uh, evenly spaced out from both edges, which is pretty nice. Now let's put on the case and see if it's on there correctly. And unfortunately, like I said, it's a little bit close to the edge, so it lifts it up. Unfortunate, but I guess I have to fix it up. So I'm just gonna lift it gently up. As you can see, lifting it up basically didn't do any harm to it. Allowed me to push it back a little bit higher. And now, it's not being pushed up anymore. So like I mentioned that at the start, uh, having a case will allow you to not have this problem because the glass will only be able to settle correctly into place. So it wouldn't be pushed up like it did for me. And the downside is you might be a little bit too close to one of the edges. Uh, if you don't mind, for instance, later on lifting it up like I did, uh, if you're not afraid of that and you know that you won't mess it up, it's a totally viable solution. But if you are a little bit new to it and this is your only like shot, chances are you might have better chances applying it with the uh, screen protector because you can literally like, just to kind of showcase this, and grab another one. This one is significantly smaller, but it will still do the job. So when applying it that way, you could just literally push it to the bezel of the case and then just gently drop it down. So, and it should just drop in place. Now, obviously you want to uh, make sure that it is close to the edge on the top or bottom, and you can use that as a little way to guide it into place. So it might be a little bit easier for people that haven't really done this before. Uh, but it won't be as just nicely positioned. So benefit and a downside. Anyway, so if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.